So that's the bait of choice. Oh, that beer. Yee, 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 yee. The hell have I got here? That's all we've got to contend with, a bit of weed. G'day guys, welcome back to the Salty Channel. Today's episode, we're out on the stones, hunting a snapper. I've got two rods out right now. I've got one over here with a red glowy on it. One over there with a green. I'm waiting for the sun to come up. Hopefully it'll be able to snaffle a fish. Uh, what do we got? We've got the tides are coming up, the swell's up. We've got a northwester wind, uh, but no rain, no storms. What we probably do need is a bit of a storm just to wash these rocks. Get all the bird crap, all the old bait, all that into the water, burly it up, and the snapper just love it. I'm using guardies today, there's no mullet at all at the shops. But what I'll do, I'll give you a quick breakdown on my rig, pretty basic stuff. So here is size 5 triple snail, low stick, 80 pound fluorocarbon on a crane swivel. I've changed this to 100 because it gets beaten up on the rocks. Use a, uh, a beaten up sinker, star sinker. I don't like using grapples because they're a little bit expensive, so just use that. They get smashed on these granite rocks out here. And uh, that's it. Hopefully, get a fish on board, do a bit of a cook up for you guys. All we can do now is just wait for these rods to go off their chops and uh, wait for the sun to come up. No rain, which is good, but I reckon we might get a little bit wet. Fingers crossed we don't. And, uh, just pray to God, I get to go home with a snapper just because I can do a cook up for my missus and I'll go on another fishing trip up north. Get in the good books. <laughs> yeah. Woo. All right, time check 7.45. I am like a drowned rat right now. It is uh, definitely a wet one, but um, still no hits. Very, very hard. A lot of weed in the water, but that's okay. We just got to keep persisting and uh, get that bloody fish, man. Oh, oh mate, I'm, I'm soaked. <laughs> on this one. We've got a few bites on here, eh? That seaweed. Seaweed is so bad out here. Oh man. 8.15, fish can't be seen. <laughs> but uh, still got the rod out there. Super quiet, we've got a couple of fish o's just over there. A couple over there. But super, super quiet. The weed has been horrendous. But I reckon we still got time to snaffle a fish. My fingers are crossed. Surely. Fish have got to eat. Got a bite on this rod here, guys. It's only small though. A bit of herring or something. Stuck in the weed as well. Oh, it's a pinky, but a small one.
Oh, the intended species, but too small. Oh. Oh, look at that. That's the best I can do, guys. It's absolutely quiet out here. But that is the best I can do. <laughs> we got a pinky on board, but too small. <laughs> That's the best I can do, homies. But, uh, it's so so quiet it is now 9 15. Whoo! so quiet very fishy but just goddamn quiet man i'm just gonna uh tough it out for a few more hours oh i just want one fish eh everyone's left there's no one around maybe i'm the idiot but you got to put in the hours to get the dog, don't you? Is it still there? What have we got here? Another, another pinky, eh? Not very big, though. Could be a herring or a skippy. Oh, of course, I'm stuck in the rocks. No! Yeah, 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 yeah! <sighs> See if we can get this guy out. If he's still there. How did that happen? Gotta be quick, guys. The swell's gonna get me. Oh, yeah, boy! Oh, now I'm stuck on the other. Look at this! Here we go! Oh, it's a tailor. Yeah, 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 yeah! I haven't caught one of these in ages. Oh. <laughs> there you go, folks. We've got a goddamn tailor. Look at this guy. That's the best I can do other than a little pink. But you know what? Let's measure him up. If he is size, I'll cook him up and make a dish for you. Look at that. What's going on with my line over here? Must be a big piece of weed or something. It's all the way to the end of the moles. <laughs> Holy crap. Big seaweed or something on there then. Oh yeah, we've got the biggest weed ever. It's called the weed fish. Oh my god. Poo. I don't want to get snagged here. But don't oh I've got a fish on here too! Another tailor! Yeah 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 yeah! <laughs> I gotta feed guys! Yeah yeah yeah! How's that? Taylor have come through. I was getting this to the car. This is cool. Whew. All right, folks. I've got a Taylor here. I've got him by the uh, by the head. I've got one rod out, and um, I just got in with that other Taylor. Looked over and my lines straight across on the other side. Let me just clean him up for you. Oh, this guy has been. Look at that. Something's happened to him. He's. Yeah, the sea's cesarean or something. <laughs> but uh, there you go. Another fish. Another tailor. I'll be surprised if they're 30. If they're 30, we're doing a cook up. But you know what? Maybe it's uh, fish on now. The port authorities just come around and said, oh, you're the only mad dog out here. Woo! Taylor on. Here's the other one. Wouldn't say it's too much to brag about, but it's the only measuring thing I've got right now. Uh, here we go. Give us a feed. Oh, 33s. 33s. That's the other one. Here's a 34. There you go, guys. We've got Taylor. 
Uh, we put these guys straight on ice. Got my ice blocks right here. Keep them nice and fresh. Now I've got to think of a lovely dish for you guys to cook up. I haven't had Taylor in ages. Good local, good local fish. Got to embrace local, local species. It's what we have here, guys. Don't snob anything. But you know what? This line is going a while that way. I need to attend to that. Oh, got something here. <laughs> I can't freaking tell because of this weed. Looks like I've got a little skippy. Oh man. What do we got here? Look at this little doggy. <laughs> little greedy bum. That's why I downsize hooks on this uh, this rig here, guys. Just so you can get some uh, little bycatch. Oh, seaweed's so annoying. Look at this little guy. There you go, just a little skippy. Look how small this guy is. Just taking that uh, little hook in his mouth. I'm gonna put him back. Poor little bugger. What you can do when they're size really really lovely bait they're actually really lovely to eat it's sashimi style but this wind's trying to blow this fish out of my hands there you go i'm putting him back Terra firma out here. Got to put in the hours. Oh, wish me a bloody big dog. Fish, guys. What's happened there? Is he still on? That was a hit by a fish. Was it? Oh. Seaweed on. That was a snapper. I just had a hit then guys. Took, took the bottom of the bait. Spat the hook. Oh man, that was definitely, definitely a good fish because the drag went. But I've got one guardy left. Hopefully this is the bait that's gonna catch the fish. Right. Maybe just weed. <laughs> the hell have I got here? Cousin it. <laughs> oh, get it up. Oh, that's heavy. What the hell? Cousin it. That's what I caught. That's what we've got to contend with. A bit of weed. A fair bit of it out there if you can see it in the background but yeah 
that can really uh, either make your day or freaking break you. Pack up time, guys. Right, that's it for the day, homies. Uh, one big hit, that was it. No hookup though. Uh, pretty stoked with the two tailor. I'm just gonna pack up now. Uh, do a bit of a rubbish pickup here. And, um, oh, that's hard. Get home and cook this tailor up for you guys. I wonder what dish we can do. But all I know is, I haven't had tailor in such a long time. It's gonna be beautiful. Right, I'm back home now guys and look at these two beautiful tailor we have here. I'm gonna fillet these guys, batter them, fry them up um, and put them in a paratha bread today. But look at that, I haven't had tailor in ages. Let's get on this dish. I need to crank up a fire and uh, sit in the little uh, green cave here. But look at that, that is North Mole Tailor. I haven't had it in such a long time. I reckon it's gonna be pretty, pretty good. Look at that. So the fire's cranking along now, just fine. I'm just gonna fillet these babies straight on a piece of wood right here. that beautiful piece of tailor meat I'm gonna skin that as well and uh, get some ingredients together get this baby cooking see my tailor fillets some cheese a beer just some herbs there this is uh, mayo and turmeric together just some flour salt and pepper simple tomatoes and I need some parathas I'm gonna try this so we're gonna cook up a uh, a beer battered tailor in a paratha slice. There's the flour. Nice fizzy beer. Fish in. Over. Nice. Look at that, that's what we're after guys. Bloody beautiful. Right now what we're gonna do, get the other pan on. Get these parathas going. Pull that off. Straight on. Maybe over. Oh, look at that. That's what we want. do now is get this tomato cheese and beautiful Taylor fillets on this paratha Just, uh, put the tomatoes down on there look at that just like an animal <laughs> some beautiful cheese Can't forget, a bit of herbs, 
simple, simple dish. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to layer this battered tailor straight on top. One, there's another one here. Cover it all up because I'm going to slice it up. I'm going to have it like a uh, similar to a pizza. Look at that, and I've got one beautiful piece left. Can you see that? Oh, a bit more cheese. Just keeping an eye on that uh, parathra over there as well. Just like that. You know what? Let's go the whole hog, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> cheese on. Just wait for this other paratha. Slap it on top. Straight on the pan, flip it over, get that cheese nice and melted, ready to go. Straight on top like that. Squash it down. Straight on the pan. Oof. Oh, we're back on. All we have to do is just let that cheese melt. Oh, mate. Oof. Perfect. Right, this baby's ready to go. Look at that, I'm gonna slice it up, dish it up. We're gonna try it. Okay, here we go. Check this dish out. There you go. That is a paratha battered tailor with tomato and cheese with a turmeric and mayo dip sprinkled with some herbs but look at this look at this guys that cheese there is melted beautifully let's put this in the dip oh that is sensational there you go, local produce, Taylor. Nothing wrong with that, guys. I was after a pinky, but. That there. Just as good. What I'm gonna do now, call the miso down here, get the fire cranking, have a beer, enjoy the fire, and just look at that. Beautiful. You know what? Don't forget, stay salty. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Froth on! Oh, fantastic. See you guys in the next video. Bye.